Hello everyone, in this video I'm going to show you how you can link ANSYS Workbench to MATLAB in order to do your own optimization loops. This process has three major steps. The first step is to parameterize your geometry. In order to do that, you'll need to activate the parameter option for any dimensions in your geometry. For example, I'm drawing a simple rectangle here. After that, I'm going to activate the parameter option for the length and the height of the geometry. Here you can see the parameters that you made inside the design modeler. After parameterizing your geometry, you'll need to prepare a workbench file which consists of meshing, fluent or any other solver that you prefer, and results. We are almost done with our workbench file. There's only one more thing that I'm going to explain. In the results module, I'm going to define the output parameter of nozzle number. This would be an output parameter for our project, which then later we can export to an Excel format file. Okay, now we are done with our workbench file and as you can see we have two input parameters and one output parameter. I'm just gonna save this. And after that I'm going to export the nozzle number or our output parameter in a .csv format in order to use in MATLAB. Here you can see we exported our design variable data into a .csv table which consists of our input and output parameters. After that you'll need to record your own journal to use in MATLAB. 
To do that, open a new project, click on scripting, and then record your journal. After that, you just need to change your input variables. We are going to update our components or our modules one by one. After finishing all the updates, you'll need to export your output parameter again in a .csv format. At the end, simply close your workbench file without saving it. Now I'm just gonna open the text file that we created, I mean our journal file. And here you'll need to change two sections. First one is the parameter named length which I'm gonna change here the second one is here for the height I'm gonna change it to height if you are using ANSYS 2021 you'll need to delete these three lines otherwise you'll get errors in your runs Here is the code that you'll need to run ANSYS from your MATLAB session, which we have our input variables, and here is the code that will run ANSYS from MATLAB, and at the end, it will save the output parameter into a cell. First, let's change the input variables and see how it works. As you can see, MATLAB runs ANSYS and tells it what to do. After a short amount of time, you'll get the results back in MATLAB. To run ANSYS in batch mode, you'll just need to replace this X with the letter B. Thank you so much everyone for watching and I hope you learned something. And at the end I would have to say this was just an example on how you can link ANSYS and MATLAB together and I hope you found it interesting and you could use them for your own projects by modifying the tutorial. Thank you so much.